I could adapt to this because at low tier city you were doing. I was doing a lot of anime fighters at low. T- uh, at Kumite technically, Kumite of Texas, because that was the other half of the tournament that was being held. But yeah, I do try to adapt a lot, especially from Smash, where I bring over to, from Smash to a lot of other different games. But that's okay because we're gonna get into game one of Betra versus Exalt. Oh, and we got the Pac Man coming out from Betracuda. And Exalt went random and got Olimar. <laughs> This is this is a very interesting pa- uh, yes. matchup just because Pac-Man has to rely a lot on Fire Hydrant just for neutral play, and Almar doesn't really have that. He can set up Pikmin really fast, but he's not gonna get those high damage and kill options until he gets two purples out. Okay. Ooh, oh, uses the fair just to get the Fire Hydrant out of the way, and now Betra is completely on the advantage right now. Has most of the stage pressure. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. That's off. And that's one thing about Pac-Man. Um, you know, uh, Pac-Man setups they're so uh, in depth and they're so and they're so great to watch. But the problem is, yeah. is that they sometimes they can counter you know, hmm. as well. Absolutely. It's such a multi-layered setup uh, for Pac-Man. Just using the fire hydrant into the throwable items, but it takes such a long time to set up a oh. Making it. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, coming out on oh, all sides of the court right now. Doesn't matter wow. though, because they're both having a good time. Yes. Okay. Ooh, I like that Zare drop. Ooh. These combos oh, from Major. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> what is this Pac-Man play? I, I'm I about love this. It. Yo, both of them just playing some nooch. Okay. Doing each other okay. Out grab. Extra damage with the hydrant. Okay. And this is such, this is where Betra is the most strongest at, when he has the mental pressure and the damage lead. He really secures, really does a good job of securing the lead and just being able to stress you as a player. Oh my gosh, and Pac-Man is doing that exact mission right now. Okay. Ooh, good forward smash coming out from Exalt. Excellent. Excellent there off the Hydrant. I love that setup with uh, with Pac-Man because it has so much um, so many mental games when it comes back behind it because he can do so much Ooh. and you just never know really what he's gonna do. Now bait or now Exile finally has a purple on play right now. Let's see if he can use it to secure some sort of damaging option just to get him some control back in the game. Okay. He's got uh -oh. such a good sequence. The challenge, got was the that the purple? Story? Yeah, that, that purple was. Too? That oh. would have destroyed him. Oh my gosh. Okay. Gets the reverse hit yeah, of that board air. Okay. See if he can make it back to stage. He does. All right. Sets him up to get oh. stage control. I like how he did oh, that. Man. Just oh, so man. he could cover himself with the yeah, options. Yeah. For sure. Does screw the key. I'm going for... Oh, no, he wants the key. Okay, yeah, the key is definitely the best kill option he has for this matchup. But yeah, Exalt on so much percent right now. This is probably the hardest part about playing Pac-Man is just being able... You have to set up so much just to get one kill with him, and it's hard. It's frustrating. Ooh, Spot Dot or Power Shield's the key. Okay, and gets the forward oh. smash. The Red Pikmin taking that game one. Let's go, Exalt. See, this is what I'm telling you. Exalt just knows every character somehow. <laughs> this man is way he too in random. He it's crazy. Random. So, uh, what do you think about Pac-Man's new up here in the new game? Being a uh, switch to Mario's up here, is that correct? Oh, really? Okay. I believe so. He, he has doesn't have the, the head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely gonna give him more combo potential. He, I think that's what he suffered from the most from this game was I felt like they tried to play him a little bit like yeah. Mario without as much Shoto aspects as Mario has because he has tools to stop approach, but also. Um, he does have good normals in terms of like boxing and neutral, like his jabs are really good, yes. as well as his tilts. But in terms of like um, combo and grab potential, grab games, getting setups off and follow-ups off extensions, that doesn't really work out for Pac-Man as well. But hopefully a lot of those changes in Ultimate will come into effect and help him like rise above some of the tier levels. Ooh. But Betra, not really phased by any of that right now, just playing some really good neutral and some really good smash. Okay. Oh, he said, come touch the fire hydrant. I, I dare you. 
I like how he did that, just letting the Fire Hydra do most of the work in terms of, like, just being a threat on stage. And I, I don't think this matchup is working out well for Exalt's Rob. Oh, gets stunned! And then crucial. gets up smashed Very by Katra! Oh, good stuff. Okay. Matra sitting mm. so in control in the driver's seat right now. Exile getting the forward smash, sending him off stage. Ooh. And this is such... And that situation is so good for Rob because if you have Gyro on that platform and then your opponent is off stage, you have so much control on how... They, you can manipulate so much on how they get back onto stage and how you can set up so much damage. Exalt, oh my god, please. I can't <laughs> explain things while you are being a badass, sir. Oh. Okay. Both of them making so many amazing plays this set. This is crazy. Oh. This is only like winner's round one. We got so many more games coming up, go. Okay. Try to get the scoop into the up air. That combo is actually so powerful. Here, right? It really is, and I love the uh, I love the Z drops into the into the water. Yeah, like carries those are mm -hmm. crazy. Those Z drops, so so good. Okay, Ooh, looking at something that maybe approach on top. Yeah, I see him throwing out that fire. Oh, that fire hydrant almost got another setup with the bell. Okay, does a really good job getting back on the stage. Exile really respecting him a lot. Okay. Oh, great oh, option nice. for recovery. Gets back on safe. Yo, didn't get fooled by the gyroid at all and set up some hitboxes just so Exile wouldn't approach. That was so smart coming out from Matra. Oh, oh. Mark. This Keep is such a, this is such an interesting matchup seeing two zoner types right. play each other because they both don't want to engage, but they know they have to. They have to. Petra taking that game too, man. Yeah, he was struggling that game one for a second, but started to bring it around a lot more mm -hmm. and swung the momentum back in his favor during that game too. Got a lot of really good setups with the fire hydrant and was able to capitalize and punish Exalt as much as he could. Good stuff from Petra. You know, it paid off, and now we're going to a game three. Did he? Uh, I, I was able to see. Does he? Oh, he picked Fox. Oh, he picked Fox. Ooh. And this man will switch characters like nobody's business. But it's cool because you see so many different matchups on stream. Yeah, I don't know the last time I saw Pac-Man and uh and Fox on stream. It's been a while. I think Exalt wants this matchup for the reflector option, so. It can change um, Beatra's, uh, Beatra Kuda's uh, approach, approaches. Doesn't get the grab though. Okay. Oh, or smashes the fire hydrant. Oh, I see. Yeah, Fox being at kind of not high enough percent for Beatra to go for a uh, jab lock setup yet. Okay. Oh, good nair her <laughs> shield. I like that. Back airs him. Right? And I feel like Matricuda has more stage control right now. Oh, but Fox finally getting the up airs. Is he gonna get a chain going? Let's see if he can connect some more. Oh, no up smash connecting there. Oh, pretty much even at this point, keeping him in disadvantage is gonna be key. I mean, how did he stall oh. for so long? Oh my gosh! Exalt, sir! This man knows his recoveries. Good delay wake up. Oh my gosh. Oh, he reflected oh. just a delay getting back on the stage. Oh, another smart option coming out from Exalt. But the Nair will take it. Such a strong move for Pac Man. Especially at high percents like that. And this is this is where I think Pac Man 
doesn't like is when he puts a Hydra down and then he gets a disadvantage. It's really hard. Yo, you see how my man used the up tilt on the fire Hydra to get the ledge set up? That was so clean. Yo, Baitra, you are not Fox, man. You can not connect those up and do it, I don't know what you're trying to do, bro. But that's oh. the thing. Oh, with all Pac-Mans, they want that to be such a viable option. They I mean, do. They really do. And I hope it is. Because if... It would make for it to see like so much more Pac-Man play in top level. Oh yeah, and that's what I'm saying. With the ultimate, if he has a Mario like uh, up tilt, he might could get those um, same uh, frame same traps. combos. Yeah. yeah, those frame traps and those combos. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, good up air, just to force him off the situation. <gasps> oh, grabs the bell even though it was right. Oh yeah, my God! God. <laughs> Yo, zero. zero. <laughs> Let's go! The man that oh hates Ridley. God.